and see. Hi all and welcome back to my channel, I hope you all fine. Yeah, today I got a special video for you, it was not planned, but I have forget about this video. Um, a little bit long ago I have test, let's say, the best SSDs for your PlayStation 3. Uh, I don't know if you guys can remember uh, the day where I have just get this Veliso Raptor here working and it was just awesome. I have test this HDD um, versus SSD. I have a video, uh, I'm gonna try to display you right now on this video, uh, just a picture that you can see uh, which video I'm talking about. And I have proof that this HDD was a little bit faster than, let's say, some standard SSDs. The reason I have found out, um, because of course this older HDDs here, they have, let's say, some kind of, yeah, cache. Um, this is now a Velociraptor with one terabyte and uh, in that time I think I had a, a 300 gigabytes, uh, um, let's say, HD inside for the test. Uh, the thing is like that, the 300 gigabytes, they just have about 32 megabyte cache. The 500 and 1000 terabytes, they have about 64 megabyte cache. And there are some SSDs which you need to know that also has DRAM cache, but not the most, you know. So some stuff like this one here, some older or standard SSDs like ADATA, uh, some cheapy SSDs, you will not have this extra DRAM cache. Okay, so yeah, the thing is like that. I work a lot with computers and that's why I know there are some SSDs which still has, on the old times, this extra DRAM cache. The DRAM cache is really great because it just saves you, let's say, temporarily, um, yeah, let's say the files and the data and all the stuff. So it gets complicated when I will try to explain that because I just want to do this quick video for you guys that you don't forget about that because I nearly forgot about this video and I just here want to share this with you guys. I have also a picture somewhere, um, but I have not really had the time to do that. But you now, if you want your best SSD, uh, for your PlayStation 3, then I, myself, I can recommend you the Crucial BX or BX100, okay? This one is really nice. I'm gonna know, uh, yeah, let's say, quickly just talk about all the tests that I have just made quickly for myself. Um, but if you want to know if your SSD has the extra DRAM cache or not, then you just write, let's say, the name from your SSD, just like here. Let me not just disable the lights because it's just disturbing right now. So, and let me now um, just get here a little bit higher and uh, let's say a little bit brighter. And now you can see here, um, you just Google uh, for the, um, let's say, SSD name, just in this case, like Crucial, B X or BX100 and then you just type um, DRAM, okay? You're gonna find uh, this website like Tesh Power Up. I love it. Here, you're gonna find everywhere the best specs for, let's say, your SSD. Or let's say on, on this website here, you're gonna find any specs and that's great. So if you just scroll down, you can see that this one here has two times 512 megabyte of, let's say, DRAM cache, which helps you very uh, to load, let's say, some stuff like games and blah, blah, blah. Um, if you just Google around and you search it, then just type it, like I told. Uh, my favorite was also the, um, wait, 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 the Samsung Evo 817. Wait, so Samsung, uh, Samsung <laughs> Evo uh, 870. And then you just type here again, DRAM, DRAM, okay, and let's search it. Then you're gonna find again the website Tesh Power Up, I hope, here with this, okay. Get inside, and there um, you can see right now, uh, blah, 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 here we go. Scroll down, scroll down, scroll down, here, DRAM. So this one here has one time one gigabyte of DRAM. Okay, a lot more than the Veliso Raptor. Just imagine this one here was already faster when I have to start the game, let's say, like the second time because it was still saved on the, let's say, DRAM cache, okay? So it was still saved on the cache. And that's why the games that I have started the second time, they 
load faster as on SSDs, okay? And this one here has about 10,000 rounds per minute. <laughs> this cheapy ones here, they have about 5,200, 5,400. I'm not sure, blah, blah, blah. I think it was about 5,000 and something. Yeah, whatever, doesn't matter. You can also get some uh, Samsung uh, HDDs, which also turns about 7,000 RPM here. You can see it here, 5,400. RPM. This one here has 10,000 RPM and it's running on 12 volts, not on 5 volts. And that's why I had to modificate the PlayStation at this time that I get this one working on 12 volts. Because the PlayStation for the SSD or let's say for the HDD just gives you 5 volts. But this one here, they need 12 volts. But I somehow have got it work and that's why I cold tested. And like I told, now I have tested these games here. Now let me now just again uh, make the lights on. No, wait, wait. Here again, you can see here uh, the DRAM cache. Okay, just scroll down and search about DRAM cache. Um, some of the SSDs, you're gonna here um, just find something like um, no DRAM cache or something like that. Okay, if you just search a, a cheapy one, um, I don't know, like a, um, let's say a SanDisk or whatever, SanDisk. Uh, wait, uh, SanDisk. Uh, Send this SSD, one terabyte. Let's just here go on um, DRAM. Maybe some of them has already DRAM, I don't know, but the most had not. And uh, wait, wait, wait. If you just not find, then you just type um, Tash Power Up. Tash Power Up, here we go. So here you can see the specs. Oh, this is another one I can see already. So this, this has nothing to do about that. Maybe this one here. Yes, nearly. And then you just search for DRAM cache. So this one has probably DRAM cache, okay? So they are outside there some, but uh, sometimes not, okay? So here you can see this one has also um, 512 megabyte cache uh, versus two, okay? So this time, uh, this one has two chips of, let's say, DRAM cache, which are working, let's say, like, um, they are working together. So this gives you an extra push, you know? So this is just like on computers uh, with, a, uh, let's say, um, yeah, the memories on dual channel or, or triple channel or quad channel. So these ones here are working like some kind of dual channel, okay? And as bigger, or let's say more bigger your SSD is, more the SD RAM you can have, okay? But some uh, SSDs just doesn't have it, okay? Believe me. So now let's go just for Samsung. Um, <clears throat> Samsung Evo, uh, Evo 870, sorry, because uh, I have so much to do. Samsung Evo uh, 870, I don't know if I'm, I'm, I'm gonna just cut this off here. Uh, 70 and now two terabyte okay two terabyte and then you and then you go again for sd ram so and then you search it and let's see tech power up okay no then uh, to, uh, sd ram tech power up so you can always see the specs and the informations okay so this one is one of my favorite the samsung Evo 870 with two terabytes. You here gonna have lots of DRAM cache. You can see here you got one time two gigabyte of DRAM cache. This is really great because this chips helps you to let's say load the games. I'm talking here just about milliseconds. Okay, <laughs> it's not much, but hey, if you like to ask me which are the best SSDs, then I can tell you right now because I have tested them all and uh, I have tested, uh, I think it was this one here. This one has, yeah, it was, ah, I showed right here. I, I wanted to write long time ago that this one here, it was the Crucial BX500. This one here has no DRAM cache. Let me not just see if I'm right about that. So, because it was a little bit longer, uh, Crucial. Uh, here, sorry, crucial. Um, BX five hundred DRAM. So, and let's see. I think this was one which had no DRAM. Yeah, this one was blah 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 blah. 
So and scroll down, scroll down. DRAM, you can see none. Okay, there's no DRAM on this one here. Okay, and that's the thing you should know. So if you want to know which are the best SSDs, I can recommend you get you the SSDs that has DRAM cache. Really, really great. Now let's come here uh, to the times that I have tested for myself. This was um, a VD um, Western Digital SSD, can't remember. Maybe it was this one, I'm not sure anymore. Uh, GTA 5, like you can see, so my son was writing here some stuff. <laughs> so the first one was uh, four, uh, 54 seconds, second one 54 seconds 63, you can see nearly the same. The third one 54 exactly, so uh, on the third one it was really, yeah, let's say faster. This one here, um, was uh, the Crucial BX500 on the third one was 50 seconds only, yeah. Uh, the MX500 was, uh, this one here is already with DRAM cache, it was mostly on about, yeah, 51 the third time, it was 51 seconds. The BX100 um, was not bad at all because uh, it has mostly 51, okay? So I have tested here a little bit more because I saw it's more, let's say about 51, 51, 52, okay? It was just one time that it has the issue that it was just loading about uh, three, four seconds longer. But on the end, uh, this one was always better. You see, if you just take a look, this one here, the PX500 was just one time on 51 because 50.8 is nearly 51 uh, seconds. So it's comparable to this one here. And this one here, uh, the BX from Crucial BX100 has, let's say, um, the DRAM cache. And here, TL, uh, TL uh, whatever, um, this uh, was, I think, um, the game The Last of Us. So sorry, here I just typed my, uh, I don't know. The last, oh, it's an O here, not an O, uh, ah, uh. <laughs> The Last of Us with a BX100, uh, the first loading time, uh, was uh, 30 second, uh, 39 seconds because on The Last of Us, if you just start the game, you need a while till it gets on the menu. And then, let's say to load the game, it takes me about 19 seconds. And I have tested again the second time. Uh, again, you just start the game and it needs about 39 seconds to get in the menu. And if you then start the uh, game, um, The Last of Us, it's always again still 19.6 seconds, okay? So if you like to test this uh, for yourself, do it right now because this is a nice information. Uh, before I forget, uh, SSDs with DRAM cache are really one of the best for the PlayStation 3 because the PlayStation 3 cannot really read that fast. The maximum here is about, I don't know, 250, 230, 250 megabytes per second. These SSDs here, they can read and write on about 500 megabytes, okay? But you will never have the speeds because the SATA port here is just too slow. It's working here about, let's say, around 250, 230, maximum 300 megabytes per second. And that's why it's even more important that you have this kind of DRAM cache extra because this is going to help you to load the times or let's say to load the, 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 the games and, and uh, yeah, just uh, faster a little bit, you know. So I just wanted to let you know about that. Uh, if you have some questions, just let me know. I'm going to post you on this video, um, the video uh, that I have done long ago about the Raptor, Veliso Raptor, <laughs> nice video. There I have proof that it was faster than uh, I think it was an A data SSD. On the second time, when I just uh, start the game, it has loaded about two till three seconds faster as a SSD, okay? Because the, let's say, extra cache here, okay? Do not forget about that. That was all for me. NSC in the place to be. Wish you the best and yeah, peace. Bye bye. NSC in the place to be. NSC.